guys, Michael Stillwell here from Stillwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and this is a Kimball Viennese Classic 6750. And a lot of people don't know what a Kimball Viennese Classic is. So a lot of people know this name. You've seen Kimball a million times before. They've made a ton and ton of pianos. They're a very well-known name. Um, but I bet you didn't know that a, there was a certain time that Kimball owned Bosendorfer. So for those of you that don't know what Bosendorfer is, think like Rolls-Royce of pianos. Bosendorfers are crazy, crazy high-end, expensive pianos, usually around $120,000 new. Um, and so Kimball owned that company at this time. So us piano technicians love Kimball Viennese Classics because this is the piano that they made while they owned Bosendorfer, and there is a lot of DNA that's been mixed between the two. Um, for example, the bridge in the back of these pianos is a direct couple bridge, just like Bosi did and it makes his pianos really rich and warm. A lot of what they did resembles what Bosendorfer did. Um, I'm not saying this is a Bosendorfer or anything, but a lot of the same DNA is there, and it's at a crazy fraction of the price. It is dramatically, dramatically cheaper. Now, this particular one was in a church, and it was really beat up, and we had to do a ton of work to it. We tried to save the finish as much as we possibly could, but this is a polyester finish, so it's not exactly easy to strip and refinish. So we had to glue some pieces down. You'll notice some damage on it. There's some scratches here. There's a scratch here. You know, even up here on the fall board, there's one. There's a pretty big one on the lid. So this is definitely more of like a piano that'd be really good for somebody who wants a, a nicer piano but um, doesn't care as much about the looks. Um, I'm not saying it looks horrible, but this is, uh, it's not in mint condition by any means. We also replaced some of the hammers um, up in the higher tenor section. Um, and so those are all brand new. We reshaped all the other ones, and it, and it came out really, really nice. Um, so I'm going to get out of the picture. Uh, first, uh, before I do that, though, I forgot to say this piano was made in 1982, and it measures 6 foot 6 inches from the very front to the very back. I will get out of the way. We'll have Nicole play this for you. If you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching.